I'm sure there's no one here today who is unaware of the controversy that has been raging in the newspapers, the magazines, and church journals. The issue is whether my beliefs and my preaching are in harmony with the Gospels. Some of the finest minds in the clergy believe, and believe sincerely, that I am bringing reproach, if not actual discredit, upon my calling. If this is true, then I have but two alternatives. The first is to change my message and my methods. But this I cannot do, for the simple reason that I believe in them both. The second is to withdraw myself as an object of controversy. To resign not only from the pulpit of this church, but from the ministry. It seems strange after so many years of telling you what I believe and try to follow in my own life, that I should be called upon to defend these beliefs as if I had invented them when there is not one that doesn't come from the greatest teacher who ever lived and who still lives. I believe that every individual is meant to be what God would deem a success. Now, if this word success means the amassing of money or fame to some people, I am sorry. It does not mean that to me. And it certainly doesn't mean that to God. A successful person is merely an integrated, loving, creative individual who lives in harmony with himself and his God. Now, if there's anything wrong in being that, I fail to find it. There are entirely too many people in the world today who are being defeated by the everyday problems of life. They struggle through with a dull feeling of resentment at the bad breaks they're getting. Well, there may be such a thing as bad breaks. But there is a spirit and a method for overcoming these breaks. The spirit is God. The method, well, you can call it whatever you want. I call it positive thinking. Now, by this, I don't mean that you just ignore all the hardships and all the tragedies of the world. Quite the contrary. You face every problem of daily life. But you seize control of it. You don't let it control you. Now, is this idea contrary to the scriptures? I could name you dozens of passages from the Bible that would support what I've just said. But there is one now that comes to my mind more salient than all the others. It is from Philippians 4.13. Now, listen to this. Because this is one of the greatest statements ever made in the history of mankind. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, if you will hold that idea in your mind and let it live within your heart, then you can have triumph over all your weaknesses, all your sins, and all your fears. But, in the final analysis, it isn't theology. It isn't religious theories or schisms or isms or any of these things that really matter. What matters is people. God thinks people so important that he gives us authority over all other creatures. He is giving us authority over an ever-expanding part of his universe. And he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son to suffer degradation, insult, and death so that we may live as we are meant to live, not as a weakling, but as a person, a person with a giant in him. You are a child of 
God. Live that way. With true humility, yes. But with the dignity of your own importance. For that giant in you is the power of God. Shall I leave this church? For many days I have suffered and prayed over that question. But this morning the answer was given to me. It was given to me in a way so glorious, so perfect, that I can't tell it to you now without bursting with emotion. Perhaps later. But now I have my answer. For as long as God needs me, I'll remain in this wonderful calling. For as long as you want me, I'll remain in the pulpit of this great old church. I'm so proud of you. It's not going to be any picnic. Who wants life to be a picnic? I told you a long time ago I'm the kind of girl who wants excitement. You never know what it's like to have that small congregation. I know what it would be like. I won't have time to go fishing. You hate fishing. And I'll never have that extra time for you. I married a very special man. He's like the magic fountain. The more I share him with others, the more I have for myself. There's an office out there filled with people. Let them wait. You can't. Let them wait. I haven't seen my girl since last night. I never got to kiss her goodnight or good morning. Good morning, darling. Good morning, darling. <laughs> 